today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Xena CH650 Pilot saves Pony and Christmas. Asian Business Aviation Expo canceled. PK Floats releases Legend Cub Floats. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Zenith CH650 Pilot Saves Pony and Christmas Tis the season for a good holiday story in which a sport plane and its pilot gets to play hero. It's yet another case of a Zenith to the rescue. Pilot Jerry Ebke noted via Facebook that his nephew's little boys received a pony for Christmas in rural southeastern Nebraska. But the Yuletime pony joy was short-lived as the four-legged Christmas gift was spooked by their dog and ran off. The search started in earnest, quote, many Facebook posts, stops at neighbors, and driving roads had been unsuccessful in locating Scout the Pony, end quote. Jerry's not only a pilot, but has a Zenith CH650 with a big bubble canopy to aid an air-to-ground search mission in earnest. Quote, on Monday, I flew a search grid over the area, and on the fourth pass was lucky enough to see Scout in a tree line. Some cell phone conversation, some quick driving to the spot while I circled overhead, and Scout was safely brought back home to the delight of both parents and boys. A very satisfying flight for November 650 Sierra Juliet, end quote. So the holiday was saved by a resourceful pilot, his trusty CH650, and the fact that he was a very caring uncle ready to save the day. After the break, Allegiant changes allegiance. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the Record Out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Allegiant Air has confirmed its plans to make the jump to the Boeing 737 MAX. The first purchase of 50 comes at an estimated $5.5 billion if made at list price. So far, Allegiant has relied on the purchase of older, used Airbus aircraft, but the increased economy of greater seating capacity and lower fuel burn have enticed the company to Boeing. Its current Airbus fleet includes 110 Airbus A319 and A320s. GoGo Aviation activates initial 5G coverage. A new era of aeronautical internet connectivity has begun with the rollout of the GoGo Business Aviation's 5G network. December 2021 saw the completion of the first series of 5G towers, completed just in time for a January launch. The services are only a prelude to a greater whole, with a flurry of additional sites set for launch throughout the first half of 2021. Quote, These seven sites will serve as a testbed for our 150 tower nationwide network, end quote, says Mike Rupert. Vice President of Network Operations for GoGo -Go Business Aviation. Iran plane crash victims granted damages. Families of Flight 552 seeking relief for the loss of their families aboard Ukraine International Airlines Flight 752 found themselves victorious in their fight when Ontario Superior Court Justice Edward Belababa found on a balance of probabilities that the intentional release of the missiles on the part of the Iranian personnel amounted to an act of terrorism. That finding resulted in the invalidation of Iran's immunity against civil litigation, which led to the finding of a $107 million CAD verdict for the family. Tamarack petitions for reassessment of 2018 crash report. 
Tamarack Arrow has formally requested the National Transportation Safety Board reassess its report of a 2018 citation jet mishap that occurred near Memphis, Indiana. The company insists that the NTSB's relative unfamiliarity with their equipment led to a premature assignment of blame, and that the board failed to evaluate the factual information of the case. The NTSB's final report on the crash that killed the pilot and two passengers levies blame on the CJ-2 Plus equipped with Tamarack's active winglets. Tamarack maintains that the incident is not the result of their equipment. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. Asian Business Aviation Expo cancelled. The website for A-Base 2022 was updated to notify prospective attendees of its third cancellation, formerly planned to take place from April 12th through the 14th, 2022. The NBAA and Shanghai Airport Authority may well have decided that the conditions leading up to the expo are not likely to remain stable amid COVID concerns throughout Asia. China's border remains largely impassable to the average non-emergency tourist, requiring particular visas or citizenship to enter the country for the foreseeable future. China's COVID-0 approach to containment has led to authorities struggling to maintain outbreaks of the newer Omicron variant, leading to a series of Byzantine lockdown rules and regulations throughout various provinces and airports along the way. China's COVID domestic measures include frequent and well-enforced lockdowns, universal masking, vaccination passport controls, and mass testing, but thus far have shown only middling efficacy in halting the tide. April is still a while away, and previous experience throughout the COVID-19 response has proven that Chinese authorities act quickly and unequivocally, and it would seem likely that viral containment measures will not be appreciably eliminated prior to the event. After these messages, PK Floats releases Legend Cub Floats. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Welcome back. PK Floats releases Legend Cub Floats. American Legend Aircraft Company released their newly manufactured seafaring equipment for their series of cub-derived Super Legend. Owners of such planes can choose from amphibious or straight floats from popular longtime float plane outfitter PK Floats. The announcement coincides with the recent victory of an aircraft so equipped at the 2021 Greenville International Seaplane Fly-In, where the freshly outfitted Super Legend secured the first place prize in a takeoff competition. The builder and pilot Dick Parsons had recently retrieved his PK-2050A floats and completed installation just in time to compete. On the topic of his win, Parsons said his legend, quote, won by a lot, end quote, thanks to its aerodynamic floats and stroke Titan 0340 engine. The newly available equipment traces its lineage back to the Edo 2000, a set of classic 1925 Cub floats. Parsons says the new PK pieces fly much like their progenitor, something that PK says did not come about by pure coincidence. Levi Guimond, vice president of operations at PK Floats, says that their product is a successor in many ways, that his company derived some portion of their product from Edo decades prior. Quote, we adopted a similar manufacturing process to the Edo 2000 when the patent expired in 1954, end quote, he said. Well, that's our program for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.